I'm Greg Koenig. I'm the EVP of Growth Units for Navico, which includes the Lowrance, Simrad, and B&G brands. I'm here today to show you a little bit about the Insight Genesis service. It's a personal custom map generation service that uh, many of our customers are now using uh, both to survey areas of water where they want more detailed maps and also uh, just to collect data on a day-to-day -day basis when they're out fishing or doing other activities on the water to allow them to create over time a great database of, uh, of uh, sonar data to create maps with. So what I have here is uh, I have uh, my account opened up with a list of the uh, maps or the sonar logs that have been updated or uploaded to the system. And I'm going to just go to an example here. So I have my uploads here. I'm going to go to the Grand Lakes of the Cherokees, a local lake for me in Oklahoma. And we actually held the Bassmaster Classic here uh, in January. So we've got a couple feeds from both Shaw Grigsby and Skeet Reese. Try and zoom in on one of these. So I'm going to show you one of the trips that Skeet took during the tournament. Just give you a good example of what the system looks like when you're just out there on the water utilizing it while you're doing an activity. So now I'm in this trip. Each individual trip is recorded and logged automatically and named automatically. I've got this trip where Skeet went. That trail is in red. That's where he went during the day. If he was going over 20 miles an hour, we don't have map data generated, but whenever he was going slowly, the map data is created. And that actually uh, aligns with the sonar data we have over here in the sonar log viewer. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit closer here. So you can see here, right here is where uh, it started. And I've just hit play. So we're now going to go through the sonar log and you can see the information scrolling. And this data was actually used to create this map. And you can see here that Skeet was working the bank here, so he's following the red trail. Now I've got a lot of control over what I can do with this chart here. First thing I want to highlight is you can actually change the contour interval customized so you can choose 10 feet, 5, 3, or 1 foot. So I'm actually going to increase the resolution here to 1 foot contour intervals. It's going to take a second to process, but now you can see actually the density of those contours has increased dramatically. So I can now zoom in and see a tremendous level of detail. Another thing I can do is I can go in and change the overlay. So right now I've got it focused on depth, so the darker shades mean deeper water. I'm going to go to composition now, so it's going to show you the bottom hardness. It's going to highlight some of the transition areas. So again, the darker means harder, the lighter means softer. So you can now focus on um, breaks, transitions between uh, different composition. In addition to that, we have a unique feature uh, where we offer vegetation as an overlay. And we don't have any uh, uh, vegetation in this area, but um, you'd see a green overlay of uh, where vegetation exists uh, in an example like this. So this is a fantastic tool for guys who uh, have vegetation on, under the water and are looking for those breaks and, uh, and, and transitions. A couple other features, we have the ability to uh, upload, download waypoints, uh, to create waypoints, to add notes uh, and to uh, tag the trip. So I could say, you know, fishing for bass, uh, clear water, that sort of thing. And then later I can go back and search my whole database of, of trips for uh, key tag words. So great planning tool as well as a map generation. Now, um, what I'm going to do is stop this quickly go back, highlight one more uh, feature. 
So I have a list of uh, over 60 trips recorded on Grand Lake from the uh, classic. And um, if I wanted to, I could grab all these and merge these trips into a single map. However, I've already done that. So what I'm going to do is go back and um, oh. So I've gone from my uploads to merged uploads, and we've actually made three different combinations of maps. I'll select one of them. This has combined all of those trips into one single map. Now it's going to take a little bit longer to process, but just capturing a number of uh, recordings that we made from Shaw and Skeet and a few other guys during those few days of the tournament has allowed us to generate a map that will show you the potential of what you can do with this service if you're out there recording every day you're on the water. Now while we're waiting for this, just a little bit about uh, more about the service. Uh, you can go to this, sign up for a user account for free, upload a sonar log for free, and view the map and the sonar on the viewer for free. If you like what you see, there's various options for, for utilizing that map. You could actually download that single map for $20 and use it on an SD card in your HDS or Elite HDI units. You also have the option of getting a subscription where you can have all these trips logged and saved automatically for you over time, where it's going to basically be there for you to go back and analyze at any time or to merge and create new maps as you update your information. So now that this has come up, I'm going to pop back into this and zoom in and give you a, an idea of what some of this data looks like. Once again, I'll go in and show you what uh, higher detail looks like, and I'll turn off that uh, blue contour. You just see the tremendous amount of detail that's provided on a lake that didn't have uh, this type of detail before. This is the type of uh, power that uh, a cloud-based system can provide to an angler. Now, what we announced here at ICAST, and uh, I think it's going to be a great benefit and interest to anglers everywhere, is that in third quarter this year, we're going to be introducing a new feature called privacy sharing, uh, privacy and map sharing. So when you upload individual files to the Genesis site, you'll have the option to select whether you want to keep it completely private for your own use or share it with others. Independent of that, you'll be able to access and view what others have shared on the system. So while you may choose to share your recordings or to keep your recordings private, you can view and understand what others have, have recorded and shared and combine that with your own into a one big map. So this is the type of information you combine with your own recordings into a standard map you use on the water every day.